Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to SBR revision series for September 2021 and today we are going to cover IS 32 financial instruments relating to presentation there are three standards dealing with financial instruments one is with presentation which is IS 32 the next is IFRS 7 which is uh, which is the financial instrument disclosure and IFRS 9 which is the main all the recognition measurement everything will be dealt under IFRS 9 financial instruments so let's start with IS 32 okay so that's it's very important that whatever you cover under this one IS 32 you have to carry it forward in your IFRS 7 and IFRS 9 especially okay because in IFRS 9 I'm not going to cover again what is financial asset what is financial liability all those things okay so let's start here we are going to cover first what is financial instrument okay and some new terms financial asset financial liability equity instrument financial ins the compound financial instrument so we are going to cover all this under is 32 okay is 32 is a very short and a brief standard okay this understanding of this will help you in ifrs 9 when you're actually measuring this financial asset liability and equity instrument so financial asset definition what is financial asset before that what is financial instrument it is any contract so you see the word contract is there so any contract that gives rise to a financial asset of one entity and a financial liability or equity instrument of another entity so what is financial asset for one entity will be financial liability or an equity instrument for another entity if it's giving rise to these two things then it's a financial instrument otherwise it's not a financial instrument it's some other contract only okay so what is the definition of a financial asset okay financial asset is any asset that is it has this four characteristics number one cash cash is a financial asset number two even your receivable is a financial asset okay why we'll check it later but before that this is like these are some examples of financial asset okay equity instrument of another entity why because we told just see the definition of financial instrument in the first bullet point <clears throat> if it's an equity instrument of another entity means it's a financial asset for you that's the reason for him it's a equity instrument but for you it's a financial asset and contextual right to receive cash or other financial asset from another entity so from another entity you have a right to receive cash a very good example is your receivable trade receivable right you have the right to receive cash from your customer so, customer is another entity so receivable is also a financial asset we are going to cover in depth regarding this receivable and all and also the impairment of financial asset and all under ifrs 9 okay the reason why uh, these are in three separate standard is because ifrs 9 most of the fraud taking place and also it's a very complex nature so looking at the nature and the fraud that's taking place in a financial instrument there are three separate standard on financial instrument one dealing with disclosure one dealing with the presentation how you present is also very important and the other one is the measurement recognition everything and contractual right to exchange financial instrument with another entity under conditions that are potentially favorable if you can exchange financial instrument then also it's a financial asset but the fact has to be potentially favorable for you remember this uh, examples of financial asset and the definition why because you needed to understand financial liability also most of the definition examples of financial liability are also very similar to financial asset except the wordings are changed okay So now let us go to the financial liability and equity definitions what is the financial liability it is any liability that is a contractual obligation to deliver cash or another financial asset to another entity you see did you see the wording under financial asset it was a contractual right under contra financial liability is a contractual obligation financial asset to receive cash financial liability to deliver cash or another financial asset to another entity 
because if you are delivering financial asset to another entity for you it's a financial liability but for him it's a li asset okay here also you can exchange financial instruments but the condition should be unfavorable you see financial asset favorable condition financial liability unfavorable condition so these are the few differences other than that word by word you say it's same only and a contract that will or maybe it can be or it will be settled in the entity's own equity instruments and is a non derivative for which the entity is or may be obliged to deliver variable number of entities own equity instruments variable number of entities own equity instruments you are obliged to deliver that obligation has to be there the word obligation is not there it cannot be a liability remember that any liability obligation has to be there. variable look at the word it's not fixed as variable if it's fixed okay then it will be equity but this is a variable number of entities own equity instruments now what is equity instrument for equity instrument the definition is very simple like the way we have for financial asset and liability we don't have that much of list for equity because equity is simply asset minus liability financial asset minus financial liability is only equity residual interest that means after deducting all your liabilities from the asset whatever is remaining is known as equity that's an equity instrument okay so coming to the compound financial instruments so is32 deals with three things explanation or classification of financial asset financial liability and equity instruments and compound financial instrument only these four areas okay so compound financial instrument means what looking at the word compound means two things are combined in one thing two things are together what are those two things equity and liability are together it has the features of equity also it has the features of liability also that is the meaning of compound in instrument it's a, it is a financial instrument only but it's compound two things are together so what should you do how do you measure such things you cannot measure it until they are together you have to separate out the two things what is the example of a compound financial instrument where it has the features of equity and debt convertible debt convertible debt where you can convert the debt into shares or you can convert the debt into cash fixed number of equity shares it should be fixed if it's not fixed it's a liability okay either in cash or fixed number of equity share then it's known as a compound financial instrument is32 says separate the two first you have to separate it into financial liability you have to work this out okay so the calculation and everything i have explained in my lecture ifrs 9 okay sorry is32 how do you separate and all that is there so you can go through those videos and check because here we are not covering the whole thing we are just telling you that you need to split the two things liability to repay the debt holder in cash okay and the next one is equity instrument option to convert into shares so that option to convert into shares a equity instrument that liability to repay the debt holder in cash that means the loan the debt that you have taken is a liability component financial liability part so convertible debt first you have to work out the liability component remember equity component you don't have to work out equity component is just a balancing figure for example the amount of the uh, loan that debt is 10 million out of 10 million you have to work out the liability component so let's say the liability component comes up to 8 million so 10 minus 8 the 2 is the equity component okay that's why first you have to start with liability component you cannot work out with equity component first no it's not possible you can try and try yourself and do it you will not be able to get the figure because is the balancing figure equity component okay so liability component is you have to how do you calculate it present value of the repayment discounted using the rate of non convertible debt you have to find the present value of the interest that you are paying and also the amount of the loan the principal value normal way how you discount the cash flows the interest and the loan you find the present value but what is the discount factor that you have to use when you are finding the present value that discount factor has to be the rate on non convertible debt you have to take a discount factor from a loan from a debt which you cannot cut. that means is 100% debt okay and this rate you don't have to calculate they will give you they will tell you that this is a rate similar to a debt without the option of converting it into equity 
that means you are taking it as a debt only you don't think that there's an option of equity so like that you are taking the debt rate on non convertible debt and discounting it to find the liability component and remember this discount rate we are using it for convertible debt okay only to find the liability component next equity component calculated as the proceed receive less the liability component you see it's the balance of figure proceed receive will be given to you liability component you have worked out so just deduct the two balances equity component so that's it for is 32 the next standard i'll be covering is 33 earnings per share small standard okay so till then thanks for watching